Okay, here is the second video that we I'm going to discuss. It is how do you distribute a monomial? So now that we learned how to multiply monomials, I'm going to show you how to distribute a monomial. Okay, here we're going to distribute the four. I'm going to go ahead and expand the slide real quick. I'm going to make this a bigger example. There we go. Okay, we're going to need to distribute the four. It's going to go to the first term, the middle term, and the last term. And when I do that, I'm going to write out the step. It's going to be 4 times 3x squared plus 4 multiplied by 4x minus, because of this minus here, minus 4 multiplied by 8. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and multiply. So the, for the first one, I get 12 x squared plus 16x minus 32. And notice it's in standard form. There are no other bases or like terms to combine. And here is our final, final answer. Here's a more complicated example. We're going to distribute 6p to q to the first and to the second term. And this is multiplying and using distributed property uh, of a monomial. So here we're going to get 12, because 6 times 2 gives us a 12. And then we get p squared. So we have a p and p here. And then we're just going to keep the q there. There's no other q with this term to combine it with. And then we're going to get minus, because a positive times a negative is negative. And we're going to keep the 6, because there's just the 1 here. There's no other p, so we're going to keep the same p. And since there's two q's, we get q to the squared power. Notice they're not like terms because they don't have the same exponents. And this is our final answer.